Hello everyone, my name is Danny. This review is for the movie called Track Town. This is a 2016 film. It was released in the USA of May of 2017, so it's not that old, but it's a little bit older movie now. And it runs about an hour and a half. It stars Alexi Pappas, Chase Offery, and Rachel Dratch. The description... A young, talented, and lonely long-distance runner twists her ankle as she prepares for the Olympic trials and must do something she's never done before. Take a day off. This is Track Town. Well, thank you everybody for watching this video. Um, if you'd like any correspondence with me outside YouTube, I do have a Facebook page up and running called Danny's Movies and Music. If you would like to uh, go over there and get some bonus content and just get to know me a little bit better, uh, you can do that. But uh, otherwise, I hope everybody's staying safe and uh, healthy uh, throughout this virus time, which it looks like we're coming out of. And uh, there's more and more movies to watch, so I keep the reviews coming. Let's talk about Track Town a little bit here. I'm sorry that I have a lot to say, but I'm going to try and keep it as short as I can, but I've got to be able to express myself. First things first is I have no idea who this Alexi Pappas is. But she's obviously directing these movies she's in, and she's starring in them. So she must think that she's talented, but I'm having a real problem with her. This is the second movie I've seen of hers now that I know of, and uh, that's been out in the last couple of years. Probably her two best known ones, because they have to deal with the Olympics. But the other movie um, that I saw first came out recent, more recently, and it's called Olympic Dreams. Now I watched Track Town second. It was a little bit older, but they're kind of on the same page, on the same note. You know, they have the same theme about Olympic dreams of some kind, uh, a sport that they're making a sports movie, but it's not really about the sport. It's about other stuff. Uh, Olympic Dreams was about, you know, her befriending this dentist that was in the Olympic Village. This one is about her getting to know a boy and taking care of herself and doing odd things on a day off before one of the biggest races of her life. Um, so I'm not really liking the direction that these movies are going. I don't really appreciate them being made the way they've been made. Um, there's only as far as you can bring artistic ability before you start pissing people off. And... I've watched two of these movies now, and it's pissing me off. So I don't like the direction they're going. I wish they would stop. If you're going to have a movie about a sport, make it about the sport, not about whatever other crap you want to make it about so that you feel artistic. It's pissing me off. All right. That being said, is let's explain how much this movie really does suck. So we start off with this race. And she's all worked up about it, of course. And she places last place. I'm just going to be blunt because I have to be blunt to be able to talk about this movie and why it's so bad. Otherwise, I'm just going to say it sucks and you're going to have to take my word for it. So she places last place of what she's able to take in this first race at the beginning of the movie. And I'm starting to get into the movie. I'm starting to feel it. You know, I'm like, okay, this is cool. The name of the movie is Track Town. You're showing people running everywhere. And, you know, you're showing this and that. And, I'm, you know, okay, I'm getting into this. Let's see a race. And we see this race. And she looks like the worst runner ever. But she's like the hometown hero. So everybody's cheering for her. So, uh, uh, it's like, okay, you know, race over, she moves forward, okay, cool. So, the theme of the movie is that she gets to race for the Olympics in her next race. That's what's being set up. I'm not saying anything wrong here, I'm just staying factual, but that's the name of the movie. Is the next race really matters. It's going to change your life. She'll be able to go to the Olympics. It's what she's been working her whole life for. 
and they end up at the end not showing that race. I mean, what are we doing here, people? What are we doing making these movies? Why do you make a movie about the biggest moment in someone's life that you built the character of and we don't get to see that biggest moment? What the hell? So everything else in this movie just kind of, you know, is the vegetables. And I got to say, I really like the dad. He's a nice guy. He handles his family well. He goes along with his daughter's lifestyle pretty willingly. Um, the mom that they paint out to be as kind of a broken down kind of psychological, you know, failure at a mom. She's a pretty good character and she's always played stupid people like on SNL and stuff. So I gave her props for being pretty good in this movie. This supposed boyfriend seems like a nice guy, but the, his correspondence and her dialogue towards everybody makes her to seem a word I'm not going to say. And um, our main character, she just, I mean, the name Plum Marigold, you know, is a nice little name for a character, but her in this movie seems a certain way and nobody's doing anything about it and everybody just accepts that she's a really good runner so they're gonna do whatever she wants and then she acts the way she does in this movie with her boyfriend it blows my mind i mean i was just rolling my eyes the whole time i was disgusted i just cannot believe that you know just because somebody's good at something like running that you would accept their personality and let them treat you however they want to treat you and do the things that they want you to do and whatever. And then her correspondence with this boy, I can sit here for probably 10 more minutes and ramble on about how stupid it was, but that's what really got me was the things that happened between her and her boyfriend and her way of interacting with her mom and the fact that the the point of the movie was to show the race at the end and it didn't show it. So I'm going to give my lowest grade of a D to Track Town. I cannot suggest watching this. Don't watch the other movie that she's in, Olympic Dreams. And uh, anything else that I see pop up with Alexi Pappas, I'm probably going to stay away from or just give a D to after I watch it because I don't think she's meant for the acting world. Supposedly she's on the director's credits. Let her direct. She doesn't need to be on the screen. A D for Track Town. Sorry, guys, but my name is Danny. If you like this or any of my other videos, try and get some of them to watch. Like and subscribe to my channel if you would. Enjoy your movies, just not this one. Thanks.